Hello. So today I want to discuss about a problem that appeared in CMI 2021 entrance exam. This is a problem about system of linear equations. So this problem says we have three distinct positive constants a, b and c. And we want to solve the system of linear equations a x plus b y equal to root 2 and p x plus c y equal to root 3. I have to determine if there is a combination of values of ABC such that the system has whether it has infinitely many solutions or exactly one solution. Now I have to determine if for some combination of value of ABC the system has no solution then whether 2B less than A plus C holds or not and whether the converse is true like if 2B less than A plus C holds then can the system has no solution or it can have any solution. So we have to check all these things. So let's do that out. This video is sponsored by Chinta.com. Since 2010, Chinta has trained thousands of students from all around the world in mathematical olympiads, physics olympiads, computer science and informatics olympiads, ISI CMI entrances, and research projects for school and college students. We can think the system as see these two equations both of them are lines in R2. You can think them as equation of lines in R2 by thinking coordinate geometrically. Both are lines in R2. So the system has infinite when two lines have infinitely many solutions like when intersection of two lines have infinitely many solutions. Two lines have infinitely many solutions if they are identical it has exactly many if they have no solution then they are parallel if an, it's an if and only if condition else it they, they have exactly one solution so we have infinity many solutions means these two equations are same so x plus by equal to root 2 and bx plus cy equal to root 3 these two equations are the same equation i mean this, this equation is a scalar multiple of this equation multiple of this equation I have to determine the multiple whether such thing exists or not say by multiplying constant k with the first equation we get the second equation so kax plus by equal to k times root 2 this equation is same as bx plus cy equal to root root 3. So now we just match everything. So we must have k root 2 equal to root 3. So we can take k to be just root over 3 by 2. And you also need b equal to k and c equal to kb. That is k squared a. So our triplet abc is just this thing b equal to root over 3 by 2 a c equal to root over 3 by 2 whole square I mean 3 by 2 times a. Like for any positive real number this pair works like say I am taking a to be just 1. If I take a equal to 1 then my abc pair is 1 root over 3 by 2 and 3 by 2 then ax plus by equal to root 2 that is x plus root 3 by 2y equal to root 2 and bx plus cy equal to root 3 like root 3 by 2 x plus 3 by 2 y equal to root 3 these two equations are same so they have infinitely many solutions any solution that satisfies the first equation it also satisfies the second equation and the first equation is a line it has infinitely many solutions now because you multiply the first equation by just root 3 by 2 then you will get the second equation in root 3 by 2 this gives you this thing so there exists a combination of values of abc like there is not exactly one there are infinitely many possibilities like my abc pair should be of this form now i can vary a over any positive real number so this is possible 
Now for the second part, there exists a combination of value of C such that the system has exactly one solution. When exactly one solution holds, my equations are ax plus by equal to something and bx plus cy equal to something. These are two lines in R2 when they intersect. They intersect when their slopes are not equal because they intersect if and only if they are not parallel. And they are not parallel implies their slopes are not same. And what is the slope of this first line? My by equal to minus ax plus root 2. by equal to minus ax plus root 2. So y equal to minus a by bx plus root 2. So the first equation has slope minus a by b. Slope m1 equal to minus a by b. This has slope m2 equal to minus b by c. These are slopes. So the intersect if and only if like the intersect means there is exactly one solution. If and only if m1 not equal to m2. If and only if they are not parallel. They are not parallel. So a by b should never equal to b by c. And which is same as b square not equal to ac. So whenever we have b square not equal to ac, this system has infinite, sorry, this system has exactly one solution. And we can choose a b serial number such that b square not equal to ac. There are lot, there are infinitely many ways to do that. So there exists a combination for which it has exactly one solution. This is also true. Now for combination of value of a b c, the system has no solution. It has no solution means the lines are parallel and they are not the same line. So they are distinct lines and they are parallel like this. So as they are parallel, their slopes must be same for part C. So you must have B squared equal to AC. Now I have to determine that whether 2B less than A plus C holds or not. Like it has no solution so that B squared equal to AC, then I have to determine whether 2B less than A plus C or not. It follows simply from AMGM inequality. To be less than a plus, I have to show that. I have to show this thing. I can directly apply AMGM inequality. A plus C, because all a, b, c are positive real, so I can apply this inequality. A plus C by two is strictly greater than equal, sorry, is greater than or equal to root over a c, and that is b. So a plus c is greater than or equal to two b. And when equality holds, equality holds if a plus c equal to 2 root ac when thus equality holds, root a minus root c whole square equal to 0. That means I need a equal to c. So, this is actually true. Now for what about d? Like if 2b less than a plus a holds, then does that necessarily imply that system has no solution? We know that the system has no solution for that we need b square equal b square equal to ac. And if b square not equal to ac, the system must have an unique solution. But 2b less than a plus it doesn't guarantee that b square not equal to it. Like these two have no relation, like no proper relation. So like I can choose a, b, c such that 2b less than a plus c holds and b square not equal to c. Like say b equal to 1. So and a equal to c equal to 3. So in that case my b square is just 1 and a c equal to 9 and b square not equal to a c. 2b less than a plus c holds like 2b is my just 2 and a plus c is 6. But b square not equal to a c so the system has solution. So the converse is not true. So this is actually false. And we are done. We have we have checked all the cases. So the last one is false and rest three are true and this ends the solution. We are done. Chinta programs are designed 
for students who are passionate about mathematics. And they are personalized with one-on-one -on -one training, individual evaluation, and remedial sessions. The reason Chinta students are successful over the last 10 years because they are taught by mathematicians and real Olympiads from leading universities in India, United States and Europe. Some of our students come back to teach at Chinta from Oxford, Cambridge, Harvard, MIT, UCLA, ISI, CMI, IITs, TIFR and IISC. For more information, visit chinta.com.